What's up? This is Cheeky CP. This is episode 10, the Al Jarreau sample challenge. And uh, this is how I made the beat. I'm going to play the track and then I'm going to break it down for you. Alright, alright, this is Cheeky CP. That's how I uh, broke down that Al Jarreau sample. So I really just have two samples here. <clears throat> um, and the first sample is uh, a song called I Do. And then um, the second sample is a song called Lock the Gates, I believe. I could be mistaken, but I'm pretty sure it's Lock the Gates. So again, these are, we were just talking about this a second ago. A lot of Al Jarreau's music from like his first three albums are really, really, really good. Tonally great for sampling as well. I found this really good sample that you heard in the beginning, which is just, you hear him going through like an eight, eight bar phrase, little fires burning, blah, blah, blah. So I wanted it just to kind of have it be really, really repetitive and keep having him say, you know, and the fire's burning, burning and keep that going. So that's really the main Thing that I did was just kept that loop and I'm just going to play that loop for you just so you could hear that what I found here we go so a couple of things with that is you can hear what I was doing with the chops and even Alex did this in his beat where there was a couple like keys being played. I just had them play for like a half a second and even his little, like ah, ah, you could hear that playing for like a microsecond and just play that over and over. So little fires burning, 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 burning and had that play in an eight bar form. So at the very end you hear the end of his phrase and I supported that with, with other stuff. I'll show you in a second. So I'll play that. So that's the sample, but everything is uh, everything that I added to this was really just designed to kind of fill in some of those gaps in between the chops. So it's really funny if I take the sample out, I'll take the sample out um, and I'll just play everything that I added, which is going to sound completely different. It's going to sound kind of wild, actually. Let me just add on right here and go to a bar. This will help me out. All right. I'm using uh, an iPad and BeatMaker 3 also. Here we go. Thank you. 
Okay, so that's everything that I added. So if you go down this list from track one to eight, that's everything that's being added to the track to kind of just fill it out a little bit more. Um, and I'll go down the list. So the first thing that you hear is a kalimba, kind of like a xylophone sounding instrument, um, which I'm just doing some chords. And just adding a lot of echo to make it kind of feel ambient. Um, you'll hear pizzicato, I'll, I'll come back to that because I double, double another instrument. The other thing I added was kind of just like a pad. I've been using Layer, which is a plugin for, for Beatmaker 3, uh, or just a plugin you could use with your MIDI controller. And it has some really cool sounds. One of them is called Fets Resin. Uh, and I'm just gonna play that really quick for you. So uh, I try to keep it in the key, which I felt was like an A minor kind of key going on here. Um, and that pad sounded kind of 70s to me. So I was like, you know what, I'm gonna stick with this. It has like a weird kind of filtery thing going on. And I use this on a, another track and I really love using this percussion instrument. It's called a kabasa. And I used a tambo as well, but the tambo I did something kind of weird and I just played it on the first beat and the third beat, which you'll hear here. And that kind of brings us into the drums. So um, Alex, I completely feel you. Um, I've been trying to strip away my drums, and especially using a loop. What I've been trying to do is just use three different samples, three different sounds. Here it's just the snare, it's the kick, and it's um, a hi-hat. And a, none of this is quantized, actually. I think the only thing that is quantized is a hi-hat. So the big struggle, and I always run into this when I use like an older sample, is trying to match the snare against the snare that's in the sample itself. But I think one of the key things that helped me this week was just adding some, some filters onto the drums. So I'll just play the drums as as I played them out here, here they go. So nothing crazy, just kind of like accenting what I hear in the chops. But the key here is what I did was I added reverb to um, just the snare track and I added a filter to both the kick and the snare. So really you can see on the left hand side of the screen right now, it's the six band EQ. It has a low pass filter and I'm cutting away a lot of the high end. So if you listen to this again, uh, actually, what is this? This is, yeah, this should be the snare. I'm gonna take the filter off. And I'll put the filter back on. So really like totally, I was really trying hard to kind of take away a lot of the high end and get the drums to match that sample because that was the key to not make the drums stand out and sound like way too digital and to have them kind of blend more in with the sample itself. Okay, then the other stuff I added was uh, bass. I picked up the bass to play it, and I kind of played this really funky bass line that almost sounded too much like a, it's, it could be its own song. But I just said screw it, and I and I stuck with it. And there's a cool little turnaround at the end, uh, and, but I just kind of keep going. So bass is in there. The funny thing is, is I accented some of this stuff with my vocals. 
Which I'm kind of copying what's happening in the original song. Uh, <laughs> he likes that. Um, in the original song, you hear him at the very end and you hear like backing vocals kind of do this like so I kind of sampled that or just replay that. And then bleeps and blurps. Of course, you need some bleeps. So there's a pizzicato violin and there's just a digital sign uh, wave that I've accented everything. I'll play it right here. Okay, and then the last thing that happens is the beat flips. And what I wanted to do there was just add something different. So um, the last thing is just to kind of flips up into like this little trap thing. And I, the only reason I did that is because I found this other really cool sample where we're just talking about Al Jarreau and how crazy he could do different stuff with his voice, scatting and everything. One of the sounds that he's making with his voice in one of these tracks is like this like flute with his mouth and it's wild man and i'm just gonna solo that so you could hear it it's slowed it's pitched way down so i slowed the beat down or the sample and i thought that was kind of like a cool little loop so i just kind of trapified it just to have something sound interesting That's it. So that's uh that's my beat this week. All right, I'm going to open it up to the guys. <laughs> 